Welcome to this training tutorial on how to add and configure a Mercury EP1502 panel when integrating it with a Genetech Synergis CloudLink device. This training might also apply to other EP panels, but there might be slight differences, so please consult the integration manual specific to the EP panel you are integrating for further details. Before we can access the EP1502's webpage, the DIP switch number 1 has to be moved in the on position on the EP1502 board. Once this is done, we can then browse to the EP1502's webpage and log in using the configured username and password. In this case, we are using default settings and the username is admin and the password is password all lowercase. Once logged on, you need to modify settings in the host com tab. The authorized IP address is the Synergis CloudLink IP address. In our case, it's already entered. Also, please take note of the port number that's configured on the EP1502. Once any change was made on this page, you need to click accept and then you need to hit the apply settings on the left column and then apply settings and reboot. This will ask you for a confirmation so you will need to select the checkbox for I understand and wish to proceed and then click yes. The panel will then reboot. When it's back online, we will be ready to proceed with enrolling it in the Synergis Cloudlink. This is done through config tool. You need to browse to the access control tab. And then select the desired Synergis Cloudlink device, which is located under the Access Manager role. Then you need to browse to the peripherals page. In the peripherals tab, you can then click on add an item in the lower left corner. The manufacturer has to be Mercury Security. And then from the drop down menu, you have to select the EP1502 panel. In the IP address field, you need to enter the EP1502's IP address, in our case, the 10160, 70, 142. Enter the port number as configured on the EP1502, in our case, the default port number 3001. Select the channel you want to add it to. If you already have other EP panels on this unit, you need to select a different channel from what the other EP panels are using. Click OK to finalize the enrollment. And then click Apply. The control will show red for some time while the EP panel is being added. Once done, both the Synergist CloudLink and the EP1502 will show online. Once they're online, I will demonstrate how to create a door using the EP1502 hardware. Now that the Mercury EP1502 is showing online, we can then create a door. This is done through the Area View tab. You click Add an Entity, and then select Door. You can give your door a name in our case test. You can rename your site and we need to specify the access control unit which in our case is the Synergist CloudLink and the interface module will be the Mercury EP1502 panel we just enrolled. We click next twice and then create. Once the door is created it will show red because no hardware has been added yet. We will add the readers which are on the Mercury board. A 
door lock, a door sensor, and then we can click apply. It might take a little bit of time until everything shows online. Now that everything is online, we can continue configuring the door. There are settings in properties where you can configure things like uh, the recs, which in our case we're not using, door forced settings, door held settings, and also it's very important to have access rules on the door so people can present their cards and ha have access. In our case we will add the all open rule which will basically give access to all the card holders in the system. So this concludes the tutorial training on how to add an EP1502 panel.